welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing one of my favorite looks that I've ever done for my channel. I'm just so in love with this combo that I'm about to show you. I started my face off with that new skin boosting serum from Makeup Forever. Then I'm going in with my Marcel Flawless Foundation. I've been using this foundation since December. However, I recently got a new shade in it, which is Natural Beige, and I fell in love with it so much more because I liked it then, back in December, but because of the color selection now, I'm just, I don't know, it's perfection to me. It just makes my skin look so good. I apply two layers of that to my skin, and then I'm going in with the Flawless Concealer. I use this shade Light medium and this is a very yellow tone concealer does a great job at brightening has good coverage good wear time doesn't crease it's a really great formula I'm just using it to conceal and also to highlight points of my face then I'm going to blend everything out with a beauty sponge To bake my face and to set the rest of it, I'm going to use the face powder from Marcel in Translucent. This video is not sponsored by the way. I have done sponsored videos with Marcel in the past. I just genuinely love this combo and feel like it's made my face look its absolute best. It's a full coverage look, definitely using a lot of makeup for this, but it just how I get flawless skin. And I use the powder to bake. I'm just setting all the areas I use concealer. And then I'm going to use the sponge as well just to press that product into the rest of my face. And this just locks everything in, makes everything look super smooth. I prefer to go matte initially and then add that glow back after. That's just generally how I like to do my skin. I feel like it's more long wearing that way. And then I'm gonna use my Benefit Browsings to fill in my brows. And then I'm going to go ahead and dust that baking powder away. The first shadow I'm going to use is from Coastal Scents. It's one of their hot pots. It's in Shamwon Nude. This is my favorite beige tone, flesh tone eyeshadow ever. Any brand, this is my absolute favorite one. I think it goes on sale for 99 cents sometimes, otherwise it's $1.99 I think, it's super inexpensive. And then I'm gonna go in with my crease shade, which is from Makeup Geek, it's in the shade Creme Brulee. And I'm just going to buff that into my crease, really buff it out, and that's going to be our transition shade as I said. And then I'm going to go in with my next color, which is from Makeup Geek as well. It's in Coco Bear, one of my favorite warm tone eyeshadows. This is just going to deepen up that crease. We're also going to apply it to our outer V area to deepen that up as well. And that's just going to provide a good transition for the next shadow we're gonna go into. For my outer corner, I'm going to use Cherry Cola from Makeup Geek. This is probably my favorite color that Makeup Geek does. It just really enhances the green in my eyes. So we're gonna pack that on the outer corner. It's just going to give this really beautiful warm tone effect to the eye. Don't worry if you get any on your lid. We're going to clean that up with that beige tone, flesh tone color that we use to set our whole eyelid area after. So if you get any on the lower lid, don't worry about it. We're just working on blending it up and blending everything in together. Now this is where we're gonna go back and clean everything up. Just take that nude tone we initially used, put that on our eyelid. It's going to make the lid pop, but also clean up any of shadow that made its way onto the lid. Mm -hmm. 
For mascara, we're going to use the Big Shot Colossal Mascara from Maybelline. Just going to coat my upper lashes with that, and then we are going to go in with some falsies. I'm using my absolute favorite pair currently, which is from Lily Lashes. It's in the style Mykonos, and they're so beautiful. Very fluffy and full. I do cut a little bit off the ends to fit my eyes personally, but these have been my absolute favorite lately. By the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight, hold tight Can't make calls collide Hold tight, hold tight Hold tight This step is totally optional but I'm using Marc Jacobs Fine Wine and I'm putting this in my upper waterline. I'm just tight lining with it and it's a beautiful red tone and I really feel like it enhances the green in my eyes and it's a subtle way to add the red without being like bam there's red in my eye <laughs> it's just a very subtle way to do it if you apply it in your upper waterline then I'm just going to take cocoa bear and smudge that along my lower lash line and then use cherry cola and just put it in the very outer corner and tightly pack it along my lash line then for my lower lashes, I'm using that Big Shot Colossal Mascara, which is my favorite use for this mascara. I think it's a great lower lash mascara. And I'm going in with my Marc Jacobs Bronzer, the limited edition one, which I absolutely love. It's literally my definition of a perfect color. Formula wise, I think it's really good. I still, you know, I love my butter bronzer. <laughs> I'm never going to give that up. But tonally, it is literally perfection for me. If you look at my undertone and this color of bronzer, it's not too cool. It's not too warm. It's perfect for my skin tone. It almost blends in when I have a really good tan on. So I'm just going to bronze up my face with that. And then I'm going to use it also to contour my nose. For cheek color, I'm using California, the new blush from Benefit. I'm going to apply that to my cheeks just lightly. I didn't want too much blush for this look. And then I'm going in with Becca Opal, which I've fallen back in love with this formula. I just love this color. And I'm using my absolute favorite highlight brush. It's the Anastasia A23. I've also recently just fallen in love with this brush as well. I need to pick up another one because I find it's always dirty and I always have to wash it. So I really want to get a backup of this brush. So I'm applying that to my face quite generously. I'm also using it to highlight my brows a little bit above the brow and just bring that glow back to my skin because it was quite matte. For my lip combo, I'm using Morning Coffee from MAC. Been using that a lot lately. It's one of my favorite colors of lip pencil. And then I'm also going to use Makeup Forever, their new liquid matte lipsticks. I'm using the shade 101, which is probably my favorite color from the line. 103 is really good too, but 101 is probably my favorite. And then I'm going to use a little bit of Lip Land's High Rise. Just apply that to the very center of my lip just to give it a little bit more dimension. And then I'm going to finish off the look by adding my setting spray, which is going to just help everything melt in and not look so powdery bring the glow back to my skin so I'm using the new slay all day from jar cosmetics and coconut and that's going to complete the look I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial I had so much fun filming this one and I will see you all in my next video